Hi, welcome to the Amber Shows. Happy Thursday. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I've got a lot of different things that I want to talk about. I'm kind of excited about some things. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is Chloe and Lamar, Chloe Kardashian, Lamar Odom. Hopefully they're getting back together. Uh, they have not filed their uh, divorce uh, papers. They've not been finalized. And now the, uh, time, the, the time limit that you have to file them. Uh, to follow through is almost up and neither one of them are, are following up. Also on TMZ they showed Lamar, he's gained like 50 to 70 pounds, which means he's off crack, which is great. And hopefully that they'll be able to work things out. Everybody has problems in their relationships and if you really love each other, you work it out. And so I'm really wishing them the best. So thumbs up for Chloe and Lamar and maybe they'll come up with a television show. Again, because I used to like this show. All right, there are seven types of toxic friends that I think that you need to ditch. Um, and I wanted to talk about that. You have the person who never calls you back. You call that person over and over again. I call them the no-call Nancy. They never, ever call you back. And I mean, this is the person that you've uh, been calling for a while and they never get back to you. So they don't want to be bothered with you anyway. So I say, ditch them. That's over with. Don't even be bothered anymore. The second kind of person, if, if you find yourself asking someone else for forgiveness all the time and they never, you know, they can say anything to you, but you can't say anything back, uh, either in defense of yourself or uh, in whatever they're talking about, and you may disagree with it, and then you find yourself, you're the one that ends up apologizing. You don't need to be around that type of person either. I say get rid of them because they're not really a friend. They're only interested in themselves and their own conversations, and they want to be able to say things to you, but you can't defend yourself. So that's, that's an out. Also, passive aggressive friends. Uh, these are the type of people that you, uh, they're around you, and then they do things that they know that you definitely do not like. Uh, let's say, for instance, okay, I'll think of something I don't like. If I don't uh, care about a person and that you, you, my, you're my friend, but you're that friend that I don't care about you're also friends with, then you wouldn't bring that person uh, in our circle when we're together. Uh, for instance, maybe I'm having a party or I told you to meet me for a drink or you called me and said, come over to your house and you'd have that person there. Well, and then you'd wonder why I have an attitude later and you'd ask me, but you already know why I have an attitude because you know me as a friend, that that's not the person that I wanted to be around. If you choose to be around that person, then you would do it separately. But so they, I call them passive aggressive because they'll be like, well, what was the matter? Oh, I didn't realize you didn't want to be around them that bad. You know, but you do it on purpose. So that you don't want to be around that. That's called bullshit. So don't be around that type of person either. Also, another person who's always uh, uh, giving you insults, okay? Uh, they always have an excuse. Um, you know, they weren't thinking uh, how their actions actually affect you. So if they're insulting you about certain things, even if it's like, if it's like a, a little dig, is what I'm talking about. You know, they'll say little things about you and you know that it's not, it didn't make you feel good. And if you have a friend, the friend is supposed to make you feel good, not feel bad about yourself or question anything that you've done. Um, if they're digging, uh, if little, little dig insults, then they're doing it on purpose, and that's not the type of person that you want to be around. Uh, the friends don't ever put friends down, okay? Uh, also, the person who always has a crisis. Uh, for me, uh, I don't like a, a lot of crises in my life, people who have a lot of crises, only because uh, I don't want to internalize other people's problems. There are some people who are just so full of sadness, uh, soap opera mess, uh, letdowns, disappointments. Uh, like they want you to be their therapist or their confidant and their problem solver. I think they're too invested uh, in keeping drama running. So uh, why are her problems always so horrible? Or why are his problems always so horrible? So I don't want to be the problem solver and the therapist all the time. So if you're invested in drama, drama's around you, all oh, this crazy sadness always comes your way. It just is it's not something I want to be around. Actually, I had a really, really good friend uh, who that happened with. Uh, she and I were friends from childhood. And uh, uh, we reconnected uh, because we had lost touch from high school and then reconnected. And then every single day that I talked to her, she was telling me all the drama she had in her pending divorce. It was every single day, I mean, for months. And I just, I, 
couldn't call her anymore. Just couldn't. I had to stop taking her phone calls. And I really wanted to continue to be her friend, but there was never a happy day for her. And then when I did bring that up, she got insulted. So, all right. Also, I think that just you should cultivate friends who make you feel enriched, who make you feel enlivened, uh, who uh, are not embarrassed uh, to just be a complete friend of yours. You want that person to be a real friend and enrich your life, okay? Uh, also, I want to thank everyone for all their comments that you write on my page on YouTube. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Marilyn Russell. Thank you so much. Every day she gives me great insight. She's my, uh, my, my confidant, my best friend. Uh, she stood up for my husband and I when we got married. She was my maid of honor. She's always been there for me and I love her and thank you for your comments. She's really, really smart, so I appreciate the comments. Also, I appreciate the comments from Sherrod, my niece in Detroit. Thank you so much. Great comments from you as well. And just keep it coming, everybody. Please don't forget to do the, the uh, thumbs up for me as well. I appreciate it because my this is how my advertisers will come onto my page. Um, also, I want to talk about Floyd Den. He was the man that was beaten by the Michigan cops uh, in Inkster, Michigan. He settled for $1.4 million. My advice to him is to get the hell out of Michigan as soon as possible, or at least anywhere from Inkster and Detroit. You know, that's my home, people. But you got that kind of money, anything can happen to you. So uh, he was beaten, punched, and kicked during a, just a mere traffic stop. And uh, all of it was caught on the dash cam on the police uh, uh, camera on the car. And, and the police officer, everybody should know his name, William Melendez. He was the cop. Uh, let's get his name out there. Uh, Inkster police chief also uh, resigned. Melendez lost his Melendez lost his job. He was fired, and two other cops were suspended. So I'm happy for Floyd Den and spend your money wisely. Invest and be happy. Life is very short. This is my favorite story of the day. This is what I really want to talk about. Pooh the dog. Go on Instagram, if you have Instagram or you follow anybody on Instagram, it's called P-O-H-T-H-E-D-O-G-S, Big, B-I-G, Adventure, A-D-V-E-N-T-U-R-E. -E. So it's Pooh the Dog's Big Adventure. Pooh is a dog that was adopted from New York. He's a part Labrador. He was adopted in 1999. Um, and his owner has had him and loved him all these years. Uh, Pooh was just recently diagnosed with terminal cancer and kidney failure. His owner this loves him because he's part of the family and decided to create what's, what he calls a bucket list. So the bucket list he wanted to create for himself and for Pooh is all documented on Pooh the dog big adventure on the Instagram account. So, go. They, what they ended up doing in their, on their, from the bucket list, he took Pooh to 35 cities. They rode 21, mi 21 miles. Uh, they, were, they, they rode, let me see, I think they rode even further than that. Actually, they rode 121 miles. They've been all over. The owner's name is Thomas Rodriguez. He's, he's a traveler anyway, so now he wanted to take Pooh everywhere so Pooh could see so many things and take so many pictures with Pooh. So he took Pooh with him to the White House, uh, to California, so that he could swim in the ocean. He said that Pooh had very little energy left. When they got to the ocean and the beach, he's like he was a five-year-old again. Again, he ran around, he was happy, he swam in the water for the first time. He took him to North Carolina, Texas, Oregon. He took him to Arizona to dog parks, and where there, even some dog parks had pools. So he, had, uh, he even got him daily IV treatments every day after he had been diagnosed so that he would have some type of energy, the uh, vitamin B boost and things. And it's beautiful to see the pictures of Pooh looking so happy and in the water, and just a, you can actually see a smile on Pooh's face. It's really a, a beautiful thing to watch the um, Instagram pictures. So if you get a chance, go on there and look at Pooh and give some likes on the page. And uh, they're saying that he, uh, several, he did go to several vets and they all said that Pooh will not live much longer. 
and Thomas Rodriguez, my thumbs up to you. I have a cat who everyone knows I've written a book about, which I'm hoping for to be published in the very near future, about my cat, Flo Jo Pretty Cat, who is 16 years old. She's been with us 16 years, so I understand the love you have. It's a family member. So Pooh is still alive for everyone who wants to know, and I thank you for coming to the Amber Shows today. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Don't forget to do a thumbs up. Love you. Happy, happy Thursday.